Hi, welcome to the shed. I never thought I would be doing something like this. I have something positive to say, some tips, a new thing on how to make a virtual ensemble video easier. If you're like me, you're staring down the barrel of having to create multiple virtual ensemble videos. And even if you've had experience with, you know, professional video editing tools like I have with Adobe Premiere, it's hard, it's tedious, and you want you know, you want the product that you create to be good, to look good, to sound good. Now, this is only for the look good part. Um, I can give you like a really, really, really brief uh, way to get a okay sound to come out of just your keynote video, um, but this is only for the look. All right, so first things first, when you record it, have the students line everything up with some sort of clap. So with the metronome, you know, you have them maybe like on beat one of the second measure, like have an audio prompt, like, okay, we're gonna clap here on beat one, then everyone claps there. And then if they're recording to a metronome, to a click, then when they have that lined up, all the videos should be, should be um, lined up throughout the, the whole duration. So I'm gonna be using all free Mac apps. I have no idea if this works with PC stuff, so I'm just gonna use what I, what I know. And I know Keynote, I use Keynote for everything. I make worksheets on it. I make animations on it. It's my lifeblood because it's a pretty easy layout tool. So this is Keynote. But before we get into there, we have to line up our clips. And we're going to line up our clips in QuickTime. So I'm just going to double click and it's going to open this in QuickTime. Now this is a, a song that I wrote about virtual ensembles, but I need to find, I need to find where the clap is. So I'm just going to scrub through here and you know, the clap is right there to just get that beginning of the clip i want to have to trim so I, I clicked on edit up here edit and then um i clicked on trim where's trim there you are trim or command t and uh, it brought me here now you can drag the end and you can find where that clap was. I want just the beginning of the clap. And if you press harder on the trackpad, like if you really slam it in there, um, it goes even slower. And you wanna find that one frame, that one frame where it ends. Don't worry about the end of the video. We just need to line up that beginning right now. And so I have it done. I'm gonna press trim. And then when I go to exit out, I'm gonna have it saved to where I wanna save it, to a cool slideshow. And I'm gonna call it part one, trimmed. All right, so now it's saving it. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, so it's saving it, and I'm gonna do the rest for the other ones um, through the magic of video editing. I'll speed this up. Ready, here we go. All right, now we're all trimmed. So I'm gonna get into Keynote, here's Keynote. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, my folder with everything organized. I'm gonna highlight all four video files. Now I've tested this with 28 different videos. It worked fine. I'm sure it'll scale to more. I'm only gonna use four because I only wrote a song this morning with four parts in it. So I'm just gonna drag them into Keynote. Now all of these are this, this the uh, the, frame of this video is 1920 by 1080 which is 1080 full hd and all these videos are 1080 so they're going to take up the whole screen but you see they're all there um, and i'm just going to highlight all of them i used command a always know your hotkey folks command a to highlight everything so i'm actually going to group them i uh, double tapped group and now i can just make this whole shebang smaller you could drag them individually, but now I know that they got smaller the same amount. You could also um, do a, a similar thing where you can highlight all of all of the videos, and then you can go to, you know, you have this 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 pane up here, and if you go to arrange, um, you can just change the size of them. If they're all highlighted, they'll all change the size together. Okay, so now I have four videos that are kind of where I want them. Um, and let me change the background color just so you can get a little more contrast. So I clicked away from the videos and the background color is right there. And I'm gonna change it to, let's do white. It'll be easy to see where these videos are if, if there's white behind them. And now the cool thing about Keynote is, you know, it's, it has guides built in. So I could just, you know, start moving things around. 
and getting things to snap to guides. Um, it looks like things are a little too small, so maybe I'll make them bigger. Uh, but bigger, 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 bigger. Perfect. All right. And we have things lined up kind of nicely ish. Let's say they're not lined up a lot. Let's say they're kind of like that, which is going to happen, especially if you have a lot. Keynote has some built in features that make it easy. So, so I'm selecting two here. I want these two videos to be lined up together. If you right click, you can align them. I'm going to align them to the left. So it's going to align to the leftmost edge. Boop. Now everything's aligned to that edge. Everything is nice and cookie cuttery. And, you know, I could match it up now. And now I have things. And I'll grab everything and we'll just move it over a little bit. And maybe I'll drag the bottom and I'll press the up arrow. And I'll take the top. Maybe I'll press the down arrow. And I have things kind of in a Brady Bunch fashion. Um, and let me just get rid of some of this negative space. Just taking and moving and clicking. Okay. Um, if you want to not use a backdrop, sometimes you're going to want to cut some things off. You can use lines. So if you click up here to shape and then click on a line. Now I have a line. That line is highlighted. If you go to style, you can adjust the weight of the line. So I'm going to make the line thicker. Um, and then I can, you know, grab the edges of the line. It will automatically kind of snap to um, 90 degrees or 180 or whatever. So, like, I want that line there. And then I want it to kind of be in the middle. And now, normally what I would do is I would do this, make these grid lines and stuff in Keynote and then bring them into Premiere Pro. Don't have to do that because this is where it gets really cool, really cool. Okay, so now it's all there. Um, if for some reason the lines are behind the video, uh, you can right click on an object and you can tell it whether you want it in front of things or behind things. And you want the lines to be in front because you want them to create nice clean borders. So I'm gonna just highlight my lines, highlighted both my lines, right click, and then uh, they're already to the front. Nice. Now. This is where the magic happens. This is new. It's new only if you have the most current version of Catalina and if you have the most current version of Keynote, okay? So before you could press play and it would press play through these things. But if you uh, click on a, a movie and if you go up to the movie tab, there is a new one, play movie across slides. That means that if you take these objects and if you move them, if you change the size, if you add titles and whatever, the movies will keep rolling, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna high, I'm gonna um, go to animate up at the top, and then I'm gonna click on build order. And so this gives me the build order for the animations, but there's not an animation. The animation is just telling QuickTime when to start the movies. So I'm gonna highlight these. And then I, instead of having them all start on a click, I'm going to have them all start with the previous build. That means when I press play, all the movies are starting together. All right, so if I click on present here, um, go to pr click on play, if I press space bar, everything's together. And we can see what we got. Let's check it out. Virtual ensembles suck. They're kind of hard to do. Very, very tedious for me and you and you. What other ways can we achieve what we normally do? All right, so I have my little video there, and you saw it was all lined up together. Now I'm going to show you some some cool things. So, like I said before, this isn't an audio, uh, like an audio how-to, but you can if you click on a, if you click on um, a video here. I'll click on all three of these videos at the same time. This one right here. Well, which one? Which one was me singing the melody? I don't even know. I think it was top left. Top left. So all these are a little too loud. And I was out of tune. So if you click on, I guess you have to click on one of them. And you go to format. Could we do more than one? We could do more than one. All right. You do have the ability to edit the volume. You also have the ability to trim in here, but it's way easier in QuickTime. Uh, because if you're a little off, then that's no good. So now I changed the volume of all three of those clips. And let's hear if it sounded any better. Um, Virtual ensembles suck, they're kind of hard to do. 
Very, very tedious for me and you and you. What other ways can we achieve what we normally do? Making music for our friends and our admin too. There has to be a better way. Okay, so um, now we can start adding in titles and things. This is where like all the other programs kind of fall apart and this is where it's gonna be amazing. And I can show you how to bring things in and oh, your, your videos are gonna look so good. Okay, if you click on any video and if you go to the style section, you can add a title. And it, it automatically defaults to the title being at the top. You can't really see it. it's out of the frame, but you can make the title be at the bottom. And it's kind of, it's really hard to see now because the line is hiding it. Let's go away line. Um, and it's not in front, but if I bring it to the front, you'll see the titles there. So you could re-space your videos out and then, um, let's change the background so that it's, okay. You could re-space your videos out. Anytime you move this one, now it has the title. So you could put names for all the videos and then those names could just be there. And it's just one way that, and then you don't have to worry about like making your titles move around. It's just automatically there. Control Z, Control Z, my friends, Control Z. Some like like what I want to do to uh, to 2020. Just Control Z, just edit undo. Okay, so uh, now let's say I wanted to start with a title, title to the song. I'm gonna create a new slide here, just a blank slide, and I'm gonna put that at the beginning. Okay, and I'm just gonna bring in some text. Uh, I don't know what the song is gonna be called. But uh, it's about, it's, it's called Virtual Ensemble Suck. Virtual Ensemble Suck. Okay, and let's make a bold. And I like the, the look of things lined up to uh, the right. If you go to View, and if you go to Show Rulers, it shows these rulers on the side. And if you click on the ruler, you can actually bring over a guide. And then things will snap to the guide. And that's like, that's a pro thing. So now I'm gonna make sure this is aligned to the left because I'm gonna change it. And then it's a, they really, really, whoa, do. Okay, so I'm gonna change, make this a little, blah, 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 blah. All right, so now it's, there we go. And let's say we wanna animate these. We're gonna animate these together. So I, I highlighted both the objects. And I like to think about Keynote as a way to do stop animations. And there's also some build animations. So stop animations is if you create a, uh, a slide, a new slide up here, and if you advance the slide, it's creating a stop animation. So there could be one thing on one slide and then you add something else. You're creating like, it's like you're flipping through when you're writing those little comics on like post-its when you're bored at, at work. Not that that ever happens. But there are also some animations that are built into the platform. So I highlighted both those objects, clicking on animate. I'm going to do a build in effect. So I'm going to do a trace and it's gonna trace them. But do you see how it traces them one by one? Again, if I go to build order, I'm gonna click the second one and I want it to build in with the first one now and I press play, it's tracing both of these, which is really, really cool. Um, so if you click on an object, you can do different animations and there's a whole lot of different animations. Some are good, some are cheesy, some have sparkle. I'll leave it up to you to, to you know, some people have different tastes, but if you, if you click a slide, you can animate between slides. So I clicked on this slide and add an effect. I am going to just, um, is there something where I can, I just want to dissolve. So it'll just dissolve into it, see, nice. Okay, now, this is where things get crazy. If you wanted to move things in Premiere or in After, or in Final Cut, you have to like do keyframes and you have to figure out all these ratios and stuff, not with Keynote, check this out. You have to make sure in order for this to work, in order for all the videos to continue to play from slide to slide, you have to make sure that all of the videos are copied in from one slide to the next. To do that, I copy, control C, and I paste, control V, into um, this pane. Now I know everything is the exact same from here to there. If I want to get rid of a video, you can't delete it. Because if you delete it, then that video won't be playing in the background in the same order. 
So one of the hacks is you can either take it and just bring it off the stage. You can just have a bunch of videos in the ba off stage. It's like they're, it's like you're actually performing at a venue whenever, whenever that's going to happen again. Um, another thing you can do is if you highlight a video, and if you go to format, you can change its opacity. That means you can just make it clear. So you can actually have it there, and you can just make it go away. Um, so if I did that, and if I was to go from this slide to the next, it would be playing. Even the audio would still be playing, but I'm going to go to the next slide, and it's gone. And it can go back and forth, but the audio was still there. And um, so you have to think about what you want. You have to think about the storyboard for your, your song. If you want people to come forward, let me show you how to do that. Um, so we had this guy who is now no longer opaque. Let's say I want all of everything to kind of go on the bottom, and I want the top guy to go, you know, I want him to be big, big front and center. So this is how you do it. So I had all the objects that were in slide two. They have been copied over to slide three. It's necessary for magic move to work because we're going to use magic move. So now I'm going to make what I want happen happen here. So this was 380. So I'll make both of these 380. It's easier with numbers. It'll also snap if you uh, 380. It'll also snap if you want it to. 380. Boink. Okay, so now I have these three videos. They're pretty much thirds. Uh, let's say, oh, they're kind of not thirds, but we'll we'll just uh, do that. And if they're a lot misaligned, remember you can just highlight all three, not this line. And then you can align things to the top. Let's align them to the top and then bring it all down. Okay. I should have, and I'm going to get rid of these lines. I'm going to have to make these guys smaller. Highlighted them all, though. And let's say you want these to be evenly distributed. Highlighted them all. Right-click, distribute. Distributing them horizontally. Now they're evenly distributed. Hey, hey, that looks good. Okay, now I want this one to be big, front, and center. We have this crazy horizontal line here. Unfortunately, there's no way to crop. So I kind of crop videos um, by using these lines. So if I used a line here, um, or you can use an object, like I can make this dig this. All right, so I'm going to use just a, a square. And I'm going to start the square there, and I'm going to put it here. And it's going to be on top of the video in the back. You might be saying, where are all the other videos? Sending this to the back, then I'm sending this to the back. And now, all my videos are kind of lined up. Um, the only problem is, yeah, let's just get rid of this. It's going to look weird. So you'll have to play around with what you want. But check this out. Now, if I click on so the slide, I'm going to animate the slide. I'm clicking on Animate. I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to add in Magic Move. What that does is it lines up all the things that were happening, um, and, it, and it does it in a timed way. So I'm going to do it where it's no, no, ease, no ease in, no ease out. So ease in, it slows it down, or it starts slow, and then it gets faster, and then it ends slow. I'm just going to do it all, um, you know, the same. And then I'm going to just uh, add in a little more time here, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to start from the top. Start from the top. Virtual ensemble. Virtual ensembles. They really, really do. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And press play. Virtual ensembles suck, they're kind of hard to do. Very, very tedious for me and you and you. What other ways can we achieve what we normally do? Making music for our friends and our admin too. All right, there so I has moved to them. be a better way. Shush. All right, so I moved them. Um, and now you can do anything. I mean, you could bring up words, you can bring up titles. It's keynote, it's like PowerPoint. Um, you can make things spin if you really want to. If you wanted to like, you can highlight a thing, an action. You can add in an action um, where you can move something. So it started here, it's moving there. I can have it move here, and then we can preview it. This is what it would look like. Um, shoot, you want it to spin? We can, if you hold control, you can have it spin. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You can have it spin 180, uh, 360. I don't know how numbers work. 360. And now let's check it out. Whoa! It'll spin. 
Got to check your build order. I wanted those to happen at the same time. Rotate with build 5. Let's see what happens here. I want it to rotate. Boo. Maybe I have to do it like this. Hmm, it was supposed to rotate, but whatever, that's tacky anyway. We're not going to have it rotate. So you can make things move. You can bring things away. You can, um, you know, have things disappear. Let's pretend like I just wanted this guy to sing out loud and proud. We started here with the clap, um, and I'll show you once I export things, I'll show you how to get rid of that clap and just have it go from the titles to what you want, which is, you know, the, the juice. So from here... I want all these videos to go away. I'm actually going to get rid of this. Um, and this is fine. If you just want them to be in, in four, like a four square, that's cool too. So I want this guy to be front and center. Um, this is going to go away. Let's have them go away that way. This one's going to go away this way. This one's going to go away this way. And this one, I'll get rid of these bars. Go away bars. This guy is going to get real big. going to be the entire frame and thank you keynote it automatically snaps so now i can magic move into this and dig what happens bam let's not fade unmatched they're just going to go away and you can make that quicker let's see and then let's say i want to i'm going to highlight that now i made another one and let's say I wanted to kind of go back to how it was before. That's actually really easy. Just copy this this slide over and paste it after here. And now things are going to go back to the way things are. Hopefully. Let's sign it on. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, maybe we'd want to make this slower. Virtual ensemble suck their Um, um I made me faster because that was really long. Okay. So now let's actually go to create the video. What I like to do is I like to time these different slides, these different movements with the music. And the way you do that is you make a performance. The performance happens with, with, uh, with your space bar. So you go to record a thing, you go to play, record slideshow. All right, so now it's recording. It's recording when you hit the space bar. When I hit the space bar, it's doing a computery thing and it's thinking, oh, you can hit the space bar. Okay, so now I'm gonna press record here. It's recording. It's also recording my voice, which is interesting. So I'm gonna press space bar. Okay, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this in a uh, quick time and now I'm gonna press play here. And I'm going to let it go through the whole video. Virtual ensembles suck. They're kind of hard to do. Very, very to tedious for of, me and you and you. What other ways can we achieve what we normally do? Making music for our friends and our admin too. There has to be a better way, an easy fix for this. Or we'll all change our careers and end to teaching bliss. I think I might have found something that was right under my nose. It's a program that some of us use for making cool slideshows. For making, making cool, cool slideshows. Slide all right. So I kind of phoned it in at the end. But I have all those animations in there now. Okay, so I pressed stop. And what it did was it, you know, it, it saved all that information. And I'm going to click out. And I'll file, export, movie. And I'm going to export the slideshow recording, not self-playing, the slideshow recording. I'm having it export at um, 1080. And then next. And now I'll just have it, remember, remember to put things in the right spot. I'm going to have it go into um, videos, cool slideshow, and it'll be called, I don't know, uh, video uncuts export now it'll take a while this this process will take longer if you have more people um, I had 28 people and it was like a five minute song it took maybe maybe eight minutes but I mean I've heard horror stories of Premiere Pro taking like days or something to render a file so the fact that I'm talking and this thing is almost done is pretty crazy because then we're going to bring it into uh, iMovie and we're going to add in the audio so it is pretty much done. I'm just going to open up iMovie. And, you know, again, it's a free thing. 
And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my audio. Now I did already cut this in um, Logic. Come on, drag it in there, there we go. You can see where the clap is supposed to be. Um, that's just me talking. So that clap, we're gonna use that and then we're gonna get rid of it. Um, so now I'm gonna take video on cut. I'm gonna drag that in there too. It's gonna have the audio, but I don't want that audio. I want the good audio. So right click detach audio and then let's let's get the let's get it all lined up first. So where was that clap at? And I'm gonna let it go through the virtual, whole. virtual. virtual. Whoa. That's me twice. Get rid of this in a quick time and I'm gonna Okay, so that's where the clap happened. Do you see that clap? I saw it. It was really cool. And you can use your arrow keys to go frame by frame just like in as soon as, there we go, that's what I want. So I'm gonna move this over so that it matches that playhead and I'm gonna get rid of this audio. And now when I press play here, it should be all lined up with reverb. Virtual ensembles suck, they're kind of hard to do. All right, and that's good. Now, um, I didn't like having, you know, it kind of went, it didn't, it started on clapping. You don't want it to start on clapping. I want to start pretty much from the breath. So um, I have that highlighted, you know, edit, and we are going to cut. Nope, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to modify, trim, trim to playhead. Sorry, I don't use this often. Trim to playhead. Now it trimmed there. Virtual ensemble. But I didn't want that because I didn't want the, sorry, this, this thing is marker. Okay. Um, there has to be a way to do this. Split clip. There we go. We split the clip. Split clip. We split the audio and the video. We figured it out together. Now I want to split this clip here because that's the uh, video part that I like. So I'm going to delete that and delete this. Now that moved over. So now if we watch from the beginning, we have our slick title. Maybe we'll get rid of some of that some of that uh, nothingness. I'm just going to drag it over from the side. Go away, nothingness. All right. All right, we got that. It's going to pop right in there. Virtual. So you could add in like a uh, transition. I do not use Keynote. How can you do a transition? Cross dissolves. Cross dissolves over these two. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Virtual ensembles suck. They're kind of hard to do. Very, very tedious for me. For making a program that some of us use for making cool the slideshows. Are there. For they making make cool slideshows. And the other animation, you could do whatever. Please make it um, as interesting as you want. Hopefully that helps some of you. I know that's how I'm going to be doing my virtual ensembles from now on. Peace.